Yo, what's going on, dudes? We're back with another episode in our full BT6 playthrough. And in today's episode, we are moving on to Impopable. Now, Impopable is one of those game modes that's not too hard if you have a rough idea for a chimp strategy. The main thing with Impopable is just making sure that you uh, farm enough in order to afford the increase in prices. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this Sada because, I mean, on this map, Sada is just such a good hero to use. Now we need to start like thinking of what kind of strategy we want to use for this impoppable game mode. But I think the first thing I want to do, I really, really like the monkey buccaneer start where we go ahead and grab ourselves a mer merchantman because that's going to make us a ton of money. So let's go and grab ourselves our first monkey buccaneer and we'll place it right here. Now, if you guys were paying attention in the last couple of episodes, you guys will know that unfortunately we can only fit one monkey buccaneer in this little pond right here, which is super, super unfortunate because that's going to actually like cause us to lose out on a little bit of money with our monkey buccaneer because ideally we could like buy two and place it in this pond and i think this pond isn't going to get unlocked in time in order for us to uh buy this first monkey buccaneer because we are on impoppable now the question is what kind of strategy do we want to go with here um i'm thinking about doing like a flying fortress because i mean the flying fortress is a pretty solid tower in like in Impoppable. and it's one of my favorite towers to go for when i'm playing in impoppable because i usually end up like farming way more than i need to so uh, going for a really expensive tower like, like that is always really really fun another thing that we could try to do is we could try to like uh farm up for super mines i mean super mines is like really really expensive but i think that would be a really fun challenge for us and if we do choose to do that then we need to make sure that we are 100 on top of our farming game on top of that we need to make sure that we have like a bare bones defense so that we can farm as much as we possibly can all right so round 25 this little pond right here has finally been unlocked so let's go ahead and grab ourselves another monkey buccaneer and this time i want to make sure i don't mess up on my placement so let's go ahead and mess with this placement a little bit because like double placing monkey buccaneers in this little pond is like a pixel perfect placement and if you mess up with that placement then unfortunately you're you're not going to be able to play fit two monkey buccaneers in here and you're going to end up wasting a little bit of money selling them all right so let's go ahead and activate songs level three for round 28 i'm fairly certain that we could have gotten away with it without activating songs level three because we have the monkey buccaneer in the back but i'd much rather be safe than sorry all right so round 31 here is our second monkey buccaneer and with this monkey buccaneer i'm going to be upgrading it to hot shots so that way we have a little bit more lead popping power towards the start of the map all right so round 33 uh eventually we are going to have to stop our farming that way we can go ahead and purchase some sort of uh defense for round 40 and i'm thinking what if we just go for a moab assassin because our monkey buccaneer as well as our soda can deal with all of the normal balloons but if we have like a moab assassin then we don't need to worry about the moab balloons because the moab assassin will be able to one shot them i think that would be a pretty solid investment or we could go for a glue gunner Ooh, a glue gunner upgraded to balloon liquefier would be a pretty solid choice too um i mean we do need to unlock a couple of tiers for our glue gunner hmm let me see round 37 uh we're making decent money per round you know what let's go ahead and try it mm, man i just don't know because if we go for the glue gunner i don't know if it's going to be enough to take down the moab balloon i think it should but the glue gunner isn't a tower that i use a lot so i just don't know if it's going to be able to have enough popping power to take down that moab balloon all right so here's the moab balloon and it's doing decent damage and activate our saws so level three and perfect Whew. That was a little bit sketchy, but we managed to pull through. All right, so now the next thing I want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and start our farming because we're going to need quite a bit of money. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a marketplace. Um, And now that we have a marketplace, uh, these camel balloons have me a little bit worried, but I want to greed out a little bit harder. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another banana farm, and then we'll grab ourselves another marketplace. The main reason why I like going for marketplaces is because we don't have to worry about like missing out on any balloons. Uh, by microing it with our mouse plus uh, the marketplace uh it actually pairs pretty well with uh, the merchantman uh, if we upgraded the mar marketplace or the marketplaces up to central markets but before we do that we have seven thousand dollars let's go ahead and grab ourselves another marketplace i think i'll grab myself like four marketplaces and then after we grab those four marketplaces we're going to upgrade like one or two of these up to a central market. Now, one thing I probably should have done a little bit differently is I probably should have grabbed myself a village and grab the double discount. That way we can get a cheaper price on all of these marketplaces. But to be honest, I'm not too worried about it because I think we're still good to go. Uh, another thing I'm noticing is that these balloons are making a little bit further than we would like them to. 
So let's go ahead and upgrade this glue gunner up to balloon liquefier. Okay, that's still a little bit sketchy. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit more of a defense in the back. Uh, in the defense that we're gonna grab in the back, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a boomerang boy. Mm, well, we can't really place a boomerang boy there. Um, instead, let's grab ourselves a wizard monkey. We'll place this wizard right here, and then we'll upgrade it up to a dragon's breath. That way, just in case any balloons make it too far, our dragon's breath wizard monkey will be able to deal with them. All right, so we can sell one of these banana farms for $5,500. Um, so we need like 13000 that we can sell one of these and buy our first central market. So our central market is going to allow our merchantmen to make a little bit of extra money, which is why I went for it. And then the next thing we have to be careful of is going to be round 63. Um, I think the balloon liquefier should be enough for round 63 but i'm not exactly sure so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and grab myself another central market and then after we grab another central market let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of a defense by grabbing ourselves like more glaives or maybe like a recursive cluster all right so there is our second central market now like i was saying let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of a defense in the back um let me see what's another tower that we need to have quite a bit of experience on um let's actually go for another wizard monkey um i know like the wizard monkey probably isn't like the best option but the main reason why I want to go for the Wizard Monkey is that we still need to unlock the, uh, wait, no, we already have the Magnus Perfectus. Um, never mind. So, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, we still need the Master Builder, but, um, if I take too long, then we're going to end up losing. Mm, let's just go ahead and grab ourselves. Do we have uh, something or spot open? Perfect. So, we'll place it right here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves like a Never Miss. And then, let's start saving up for a, uh, Expector. Now, Spectre is going to cost us quite a bit of money, so I'm probably going to need to sell my Wizard Monkey. Um, and I may need to sell one of my marketplaces in order to buy it. So as soon as round 63 starts, that's when we're going to have to like make up our chill or make or make our mind. I right, so round 63, let's go ahead and sell, sell and buy our Spectre. Okay, so this we, we got we got the Spectre in time. We did have to sacrifice one of our marketplaces, but we should be but we should still be fine. Um, another thing that we're going to have to do is we're probably going to need to like have some sort of camera detection up front because right now our monkey ace can't see camo balloons but it's not gonna be the end of the world because we could always go ahead and grab ourselves like another like uh monkey ace and like place it right here uh and then we can like grab this village place this village right here and then the monkey ace right here will be able to see camo balloons with a village so this is more like uh, just a temporary fix. All right, so round 66, here is another central market. Now we're not making anywhere close to as much money as I thought we were gonna make. Um, Let's go ahead and upgrade these merchantmen up to uh, flavored trades. Now I wanna go with the flavored trades because they should be able to make us a little bit of extra money. Uh, Because I feel like our merchantmen could be making us more money if I just went ahead and uh, upgraded them a little bit sooner. Especially since we have these, cent these central markets. All right, so there's our flavored trades now um we're gonna start struggling against camo balloons this is like one thing i was debating on doing uh i almost debated on it instead of grabbing three monkey buccaneers uh, i almost want to grab myself like a monkey sub here instead but i think we'll still be able to make this work uh the question is can i fit a monkey sub here i can't fit a monkey sub here so uh let's go ahead and grab ourselves a reactor in the back here and then by having this reactor in the back, just in case any like uh, camo balloons give us a little bit of a hard time, our monkey ace will still be able to help out. Uh, it'll probably end up, or it'll probably come in clutch on like round 78 with the second rush of ceramic balloons that we get after the uh, BFBs, if I'm not mistaken. Now, one really cool thing about like using farms like this, we can sell each one of these farms for $20,000. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So that's right, right here, that's $100,000. So I take it back of, uh, I take back what I said about us not being able to afford the Flying Fortress because just with like these central markets, we have $120,000 worth of a central markets that we can sell. So I don't think we'll struggle with buying the Flying Fortress, but we're nowhere close to being able to buy the uh, super mines with it. All right, so there is the central market. Um, let's go ahead and try to grind out a little bit harder. I, the, the thing is, is that I've never used like the, or like I've used su the super mines, 
but I've never like tried to go for the super mines uh, for like impoppable or anything like that. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford the flying fortress and along with the super mines. Um, it'll be kind of sketchy, but as long as our specter is able to hold out, um, let's go ahead and give our specter a little bit more popping power. Uh, let's grab ourselves an alchemist and let's uh, uh, buff up our specter with a stronger stimulant. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves another central market. And then I think, no, that's going to be it about there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves another banana farm, place it right here. And uh, let's just try to grind out as much money as we can before like round 90. Round 90 is when we're definitely going to need to have uh, either the flying fortress or uh, the super mines. Man, and can I just say like, I'm actually shocked at how good our specter is doing in these early rounds. Like I was a little bit worried that um, it would kind of like fall below fall behind like once we hit round 80 but it's still doing absolutely fantastic or still doing an absolutely fantastic job of uh, dealing with all with all these rounds now one thing i'm a little bit curious on um will i be able to get a discount on the tier five um let's go ahead let's sell this farm uh let's go ahead and grab ourselves a spike factory we'll upgrade it up to spike mines uh we need hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars in order to grab these spike mines we're making a lot of money per round um let's actually go ahead and grab ourselves a couple more central markets um i think we'll actually be able to do it like we are so close to being able to afford not only the flying fortress but also the super mines along with it so let me go ahead and tally up how much money we have so uh 20 40 60 80 100 uh 200 we have a two hundred and forty thousand dollars worth of upgrades um let's go ahead let's grab ourselves uh where's uh okay so we'll place this one right here um and then actually we'll place it over here i uh, will place this flying fortress right or we'll place our flying fortress right here and then after we sell all of our towers we'll end up upgrading this one up to the flying the flying fortress i right, so round 90 is almost here um it's about time that we start selling our central markets and then after we sell our central markets, we'll also sell our um, flavor trades as well. All right, so this should be the end of the round. Uh, there we go, selling all of these boys. Um, we need to upgrade this up to super mines. We need to grab the fly. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't believe we got the flying fortress and the super mines in the same game. That's actually crazy, dudes. All right, let's go ahead and sell these two. And then we'll also grab the balloon solver. Um, and then let's also grab ourselves some monkey sub here. And then we'll upgrade this monkey stuff up to a plutonium reactor. That way, our balloon solver can do a little bit more damage as well. Man, there is no way that we're going to lose, guys. Like, we not only have the super mines, one of the most expensive upgrades in balloons T6, but we also have the flying fortress. Like, to be honest, I don't even think the super mine is going to have anything to do because our flying fortress, as well as our balloon solvers, just going to end up taking all of the pops. And we still have a $53,000 left over. That is actually insane. Man, I was a little bit worried uh, about halfway through if, if we were going to have enough uh, money in order to buy both. I still can't believe that we were able to afford the two most expensive towers in all of Balloon's T6. Like, obviously, I'm not including the Paragons. I think the only towers that are more expensive than the Super Mines and the uh, Flying Fortress is the True Sun God and the Legend of the Night. And both of them belong to the uh, Super Monkey. So, of course, they're going to be really, really expensive. All right, and we also bought all of the Tier 5s for the Glue Gunner. Um, we're on round 99, man. We don't even have time to, like, buy anything else because our towers are just shredding through everything. Man, and we spent all that money on, on the super mines, and our super mines didn't even get a chance to do anything. Poor super mines. But, all right, dudes, uh, unfortunately, we still did not get another level from that impoppable mode. So, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you, dudes, in the next one.